Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go through my top 10 tips for section 3 of the game set. And make sure to stick to the end to see my golden tip for section 3. I'm Elvin from Medic Mind, a second year medical student from Monash University. And if you're interested in the game set, medicine, and getting into medical school, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the Medic Mind YouTube channel. Section 3 of the game set is the science part of the exam and is known as reasoning in biological and physical sciences. It is the final and longest part of the exam. You'll have a 30 minute break before sitting this section, so make sure to bring some high energy snacks. This is the section that most students find the hardest and most daunting. But fear not, following this guide will allow you to conquer your fears of section 3 and get that high mark you deserve. Following the outbreak of COVID-19, the game set format and timings have changed, so here's a new breakdown of the timing and disciplines. So, for game set section 3, the reasoning in biological and physical sciences, it will be split between biology, chemistry and physics in a proportion of 40, 40 and 20% respectively. You'll have 75 questions, all multiple choice with 4 answer options. You'll have 8 minutes reading time, 142 minutes writing time, with a total test time of 150 minutes. These timings allow you to spend approximately 2 minutes per question. ASA states that a first year university level is required for biology and chemistry, and year 12 is required for physics in the GAMSAT section 3. Here are my top 10 tips for developing your strategy to approach section 3 of the GAMSAT. Tip number 1 is to start revising early. Cramming does not work for the GAMSAT exam and will only add to your stress and anxiety. It's recommended to start revising at least 3 months prior to sitting the GAMSAT. Tip number two is to make a plan. It's easy to get overwhelmed when studying for the GAMSAT because the list of potential topics is quite extensive. Make a plan and note when you've covered a topic. This will provide reassurance for those moments when it seems like you're not getting anywhere. Tip number three is to revise biology, chemistry and physics. Although it may be tempting to slightly disregard physics as it's a least common topic, you will need to cover all the disciplines to ensure a good GAMSAT score. Check out our tips for revising and approaching each of the different science disciplines in the link below. Tip number four is to use multiple resources for GAMSAT section three. There are plenty of GAMSAT and high school science books out there, but it's good to use a range of resources. Khan Academy, for example, is a great resource. So make a note of topics you're not comfortable with whilst practicing questions, then watch a video or two to provide a comprehensive explanation. It may also be easier to visualize the GAMSAT section 3 topics rather than reading from a textbook. This is especially the case for 3D processes such as protein folding or stereochemistry. In the description below, we'll leave some links to some great resources you can access. Tip number 5 is to become familiar with mental maths. We've all become very reliant on calculators, but unfortunately you won't be provided one in the GAMSAT. So, brushing up on mental maths is key. It's probably been a few years since you've had to manipulate fractions into common denominators, therefore revising the basics will help. Logs and scientific notation are also important for games at section 3. Additionally, learning when to round up or down will increase your speed. For example, gravity is 9.8, so you might find it easier to round this up to 10 when multiplying it in an equation. Tip number 6 is to learn these equations. Although equations may be provided for certain questions, it is a good plan to learn most of the common equations so that you don't have to rely on them being provided. You should also practice using the equations so that you're comfortable with them. It's good practice to use standard units, so become aware on how to convert these. Tip number seven is to practice GAMSAT section three. Practice is the most vital part, so attempt as many questions as you can. GAMSAT Section 3 questions are probably quite different to any exam you've done before, so try to practice as many questions as possible. This will allow you to become familiar with the format and style of these questions. It will also allow you to relax a bit more on the day of the exam. Official GAMSAT preparation materials can be purchased from the ASA website linked in the description below. Tip number 8 is to time yourself. Although 2 minutes per question may seem like a lot, some questions will require more time than others. Time is one of the greatest challenges of the GAMSAT and therefore you will need to learn how to manage it well. Allow yourself to become comfortable and gain confidence with these questions and once this is achieved, start timing yourself when practicing questions. I definitely don't recommend timing yourself at the beginning of your revision because at this point it's more useful to become familiar with these question styles. Tip number 9 is to remain focused. You need to read every part of the question provided within a question stem with great attention. 
This section aims to test your ability to interpret new information and is less about rote learning. Although understanding a topic is useful because it will enable you to interpret the new information faster, you'll most likely be provided with unfamiliar systems or organisms. For example, the circulation of, say, a fish instead of a human may be examined, and this is purely to test your ability to analyse and use information provided within the passage. Tip number 10 is to stay calm. Although revision of science topics is necessary, the stem of GEMSAT section 3 questions normally contain the majority of information required for answering the question. So if you're presented with something that you're not familiar with, don't panic, take a breath and read through that stem again. Pay great attention to any bullet points and you may also need to refer to previous answers for more information. GAMSAT section 3 is usually the section that most students dread, but this doesn't need to be the case. Follow these tips and make sure to get a good night's sleep before the day of the exam. Also make sure to check out our tutoring options linked in the description below. We provide one-on-one -on -one tutoring with a GAMSAT expert who will go through the exam step-by-step -step, tailored to your unique needs. If you have any further questions about the GAMSAT section 3, please leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Also check out our top 10 tips for section 1 and section 2 of the GAMSAT, both linked in the description below as well. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you learned a thing or two about GAMSAT section 3. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like the video and share this with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the Medic Mind YouTube channel for weekly tips, advice, and tutorials on the GAMSAT.